distinguished guests, faculty, friends, and family. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 commencement of Boston University Metropolitan College and our first virtual convocation. We are here today to honor our graduates. When normally there would be an arena full of friends and families, this year we must imagine their faces and their cheers of support. This year has been a difficult one and unprecedented in so many ways. Yet you made it through, and now you have earned your degrees from Boston University. Congratulations on this accomplishment of great magnitude. Successfully juggling the demands of a career and the needs of a family is commendable. Throwing into the mix a rigorous academic program with an abundance of challenging homework and other requirements is hardly something an ordinary person would choose to do. It is an extraordinary feat, one that you pulled off while the pandemic disrupted your work and caused great anxiety and profound grief. Yet here we are celebrating your incredible commitment and success. We owe you a standing ovation. Please join me in applauding graduates of 2021. Everybody from your homes across the nation and around the world. Thank you. Now with new vaccines, there may be light at the end of the tunnel. COVID-19, after all, is a virus that can be fought using medicine and science. And with the help with adept managers, candid communication, and courageous leaders. We are joining their ranks today with the knowledge and ability to think independently, to learn from the past, and to evolve better solutions for the future. But there is another pandemic, also deadly, that is more challenging to cure. And we call upon you to confront it. I'm speaking about the blight of inequality. As graduates of Metropolitan College, the most diverse college at Boston University, remember our tradition of high scholarship and social responsibility. We are a community that stands firmly against discrimination towards anyone. We represent the ideas of a university that in 1868 just four years after the Civil War, made a commitment to welcome persons of any race, gender, or religious persuasion, and stood by it. We welcome free discussion. We listen to opinions that are different from our own. We strive for independent thinking and we built our judgment and actions with empathy to all. On this special day, we ask you not only to reject bias systems, but to help build inclusive and diverse institutions and organizations, to fight for equity in your communities, and to ensure opportunities for the marginalized and underrepresented in society. As you join a vibrant community of almost 400,000 Boston University alumni, we have great expectation of you because we know you have the will, persistence, intelligence, and grit to change the world. 
we know you will make us proud. With this in mind, I am pleased to introduce the recipients of the Service to Community Award. Each year, Boston University Metropolitan College recognizes a member or members of our community who are making a difference. It is my honor to present this year's award to TJ and Hadley Douglas, founders and owners of the Urban Grape, an award-winning wine retailer in Boston South End. As a 20-year veteran of the hospitality industry who earned a certificate in wine studies from Bill's Elizabeth Bishop Wine Resource Center, TJ combined his professional experience and his learning to become a leader in the field. He established the Urban Grape in 2010 with his wife and business partner, Hadley, and earned showers of accolades for the unique business model. It was based on a simple and fundamental realization that pairing a food of wine enjoyed by everyone since antiquity all over the world can be introduced to the novice by organizing wines on a progressive scale from light-bodied to full-bodied. The mystic complexities of varietal, region, and production receded into the background, and the clarity of the framework enabled customers to reason and choose with confidence. A book on the subject and the store, that is the embodiment of this approach, became an instant success. Is a business that is black owned and woman owned. The urban grape was profoundly based on, on a passion for equity inclusion. But as many other fields, professionals of color remain few. TJ and Handley knew that the best way of achieving lasting change is to create opportunities, opportunities for learning and for career advancement. They partnered with Metropolitan College and established the Urban Grape Wine Studies Award for students of color. Each year, this award will fund at least two students of color through all four levels of BU's Wine Studies Certificate Program and, in addition, three paid internships designed to break down racial barriers in the industry. By combining education, work experience, and mentorship, this award will prepare students of color for long and prosperous careers. I am pleased to share that our first two award winners were announced in November 2020. Teaching Hadley, we are deeply grateful for your generosity and for your initiative and engagement. Please stand and be recognized. In recognition of your award, I invite you both, TJ and Hadley, to the podium and to offer some remark.
Thank you, Dean Slatova, and the entire Met College administration for this incredible honor of receiving Boston University's Service to Community Award. For over 20 years, I've been a part of the wine industry and hospitality industry, where almost no one ever, ever looked like me. I've had to create my own pathways to success and pry open the closed doors in front of me with sheer determination and persistence. I knew that when I reached a point in my career where I could reach back to help others, that I would make it easier for other people of color to join the industry that I love. Despite opening and, and growing a successful wine store, the only formal education about wine that I ever received was right here at Boston University when I enrolled in two semesters of the certificate program in wine studies. Now at the time, enrolling in the program was a huge financial burden to me. But I knew it would build my confidence and give me the foundation that I needed for a successful career. After years of hoping that the large beverage corporations would invest in creating pipelines to the wine industry for black and brown people, my wife Hadley and I realized that the change we, need, we wanted to see would have to begin with us. After George Floyd's murder last May, Hadley and I decided to take a leap of faith and open the Urban Grape Wine Studies Award for students of color. We hoped to have the fun endowed within five years, but what we never could have ever expected was that our community would lift us and this fund up to such huge heights and help us to raise double our intended amount, nearly $200,000 in just seven months. Two students of color will now receive all four levels of the wine studies education at Boston University in perpetuity. In addition, the recipients will also receive paid industry internships from the Urban Grape and other wine and hospitality partners in Massachusetts. The wine industry in Boston will never be the same thanks to this program. It was a lesson to us all that you shouldn't wait for the world to change around you. You should just dive in and be that change yourself. One of the main reasons that we started this award was to show our two sons, Noah and Jason, that they can live a life that promotes their ideals and to teach them that making more space at the proverbial table will never take away from their own opportunities. Instead, their lives will be made richer and more fulfilling as ours have been since this year with the inception of this fund. We accept this award on their behalf, knowing that we have created a legacy that will one day, that they will one day oversee and be inspired by. Thank you again to everyone for this incredible honor. To the class of 2021, we leave you with the timeless words of Margaret Mead. Never believe that a few caring people can't change the world, for indeed, that's all who ever have. <laughs> Thank you, TJ and Hadley, for your inspiring words. Our faculty and staff would now like to offer their words of congratulation and encouragement. Please enjoy the following presentation.
Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you. I am so pleased to be with you today and to congratulate you on your great accomplishment. I'm so proud of your class of 2021. You all had a vision and a goal to graduate and you got there. I think it is fair to say, class of 2021, that your perseverance, resiliency, and commitment to your education is second to none. And we especially appreciate how you were able to adapt to the pandemic world. You should feel very proud of this great milestone and tremendous accomplishment. You are, without a doubt, the most challenged class that we have ever had at Boston University. I'm so happy to have gotten a chance to know so many of you and to um, enjoy your, your work and follow your progress. I'm very proud of you all for graduating this year. You thoroughly deserve it. You're a fantastic uh, group of students to work with. You've worked so hard, you've come so far, and under the most unique and extraordinary circumstances that we've seen. You've shown perseverance and dedication, and you're hard workers by nature, and at its core, uh, that is what Met is all about. Uh, so you have personified Metropolitan College, and you should be so proud of your accomplishments today. The world has many challenges ahead of it, and now you're a part of solving these problems. This is your BU degree, and you can now go out and use this to change the world. I know that you'll be able to take what you've learned throughout the degree program and apply it to both your professional and personal lives. You are on the precipice of possibility, whether you're starting your career or continuing it. Please don't undersell yourself. You've got a great degree and you should take advantage of it out there in the world. Don't be afraid to dream big. And remember, you do have something to offer. My one piece of advice would be to stay connected and be willing to learn from each other. My advice to you is to always remain curious. My best piece of advice is to remember to always try to see challenges as opportunities. When you run into a problem, don't try to worry about it. Try to see a way that it is an opportunity to grow or learn new skills. Keep in contact with your classmates, with your instructors, and with the front office staff. We miss you as much as you probably, hopefully, miss us. I wish you the most success in the future. Uh, we need all of you to be delivering your best, best self. Um, I can't wait to see what happens from here. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you all for letting us be a part of your journey and wish you all of the best in whatever path you may take. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to present the Roger Duvaux Part-Time Faculty Award for Excellence in Teaching, established in the memory of Roger Duvaux, who taught at Metropolitan College for 25 years and exemplified the qualities of excellence that we seek in our faculty. These include a demonstrated commitment to mission of the college and its students, a thorough mastery of the subject, a distinguished professional record, and the ability to convey knowledge and experience with an enthusiasm that inspires students in their quest for learning. Each year, the Metropolitan College community nominates a member of our part-time teaching faculty who best demonstrates these qualities. This year, it is a distinguished honor to present the Roger Duvall Part-Time Faculty Award for Excellence in Teaching to Dr. Abraham Waya. Since 2005, Dr. Waya has taught over 40 classes in Boston University's College of Arts and Sciences, Metropolitan College, and the Met Prism Education Program. He has scholarly expertise in disciplines of history, sociology, and philosophy, making him an invaluable member of Met part-time teaching faculty. A highly rated teacher, Dr. Vaya is universally loved, especially among his students in BU Prison program. A native of Nigeria, he earned a bachelor's degree in political science and a master's degree in international relations and the strategic studies both from the University of Jos, Nigeria. As a defense analyst with Nigeria's premier think tank, the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, he was sent to Moscow, Russia, 
to earn a doctorate in Defense and Security Studies from the Russian Academy of Sciences in 1994. With diplomatic privileges, Dr. Waya established camps to assist the more than 2,000 refugees who flocked into, the Moscow, into Moscow from the wars in Somalia and Iraq. He was also instrumental in establishing the famed soup kitchens of uh, Moscow Protestant uh, Chaplaincy in 1990, feeding 1,500 families daily. In 1995, Dr. Wyatt moved to the United States to study at Boston University School of Theology, where he earned a Master's of Divinity. Today, he is a, an ordained elder in the United Methodist Church, currently appointed to serve in Brockton, Massachusetts, where he has established the L Street Mission, providing care for the homeless. Whatever subject he is teaching, Dr. Wyatt transforms the classroom with his rich global experience and his compassion. He is an inspiration to his students and his peers. And for these reasons, it is my pleasure to present the Part-Time Faculty Award for Excellence in Teaching to Dr. Abraham Waya. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you, deans, chairs, directors, staff. Congratulations, graduate and students. It is, in fact, your day. As an undergraduate, my parents once sat me down and said that I should thank them for paying for my college education. I did. And then I said they should thank me for staying in school and studying hard and actually graduating. So you may have heard it said to thank your parents, but I say to you, your parents too, and the faculty, thank you for staying with it all the way to graduation, Monday morning hangovers notwithstanding. Early in the pandemic in 2020, one of our prison education graduates who was released after 18 years in prison, asked me if he could apply to a university that is across the pond from here. I said, sure, you can do so, and I will be glad to write you a letter of recommendation. He laughed, and I laughed. A few weeks ago, when I was informed of this award, I got a call from him telling me that he has been accepted for graduate studies at Harvard University. So you may have heard that it is outstanding faculty that we honor, but I say to you, there are no outstanding faculty. There cannot be outstanding faculty without outstanding students. You may have heard it said that as you graduate, you should go and make a difference in the world. But I say to you, do not make a difference in the world. Rather, go and make a different world full of truth and justice and equality and compassion and righteousness, yes, and even love. You may have heard it said that college education will grant you access to a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But I say to you, always pursue knowledge for its own sake, and all things shall be added unto you. Today, I accept this award on behalf of all the outstanding part-time faculty who work conscientiously and diligently, not expecting a pot of gold or even an award. 
And if you have been wished good luck, I do not wish you good luck. Rather, I charge you to go and create your own good luck, as TJ and Hadley have done. Congratulations, class of 2021. Godspeed. Congratulations on your award, Dr. Wyatt. At this point, I ask those gathered here and at home to join us in observing a moment of silent reflection to remember the loved ones we lost this past year. Thank you. It's now my honor to present the awards for excellence in undergraduate study in the Bachelor of Liberal Science degree program and the Bachelor of Science degree program. These are the highest honors conferred upon undergraduates by Metropolitan College. These two awards recognize outstanding academic achievement, commitment to education, and exceptional personal integrity. This year, Metropolitan College is pleased to present a certificate of undergraduate academic achievement to Teresa Go. For the past 10 years, Teresa has enjoyed a diverse career as a performing violist, educator, and arts administrator in the Chicago area. She began college at Lawrence University, where she studied at the Conservatory of Music and pursued liberal arts coursework, ranging from dance to post-colonial literature. A few years into her degree, Teresa was diagnosed with Elhurst-Danlos Syndrome. Through the years of fighting chronic illness and building her career, the idea of finishing her bachelor's degree was never far away. When she chose to continue at Metropolitan College, she found it a natural fit for her love of learning, discovering patterns, and interrogating the world around her. Passionate about a rich liberal arts approach to education, Teresa finds joy in exploring the world through music with the students she teaches in high school, orchestra, and through her private studio. We are also pleased to present a Certificate of Undergraduate Academic Achievement to James Owens. James began his collegiate life as a computer science student at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. After his sophomore year, he was recruited by a financial technology startup to help build a new product from the ground up. Excited by the opportunity, but unwilling to forego a college degree, James enrolled in the computer science program at Metropolitan College, which gave him the flexibility to work full time while finishing his degree at night. James now has his bachelor's and his company has seen his product grow from an idea into a fully functional analysis application used by financial professionals all over the world. Congratulations on your accomplishment, Teresa and James. We now continue with a virtual presentation of the Boston University Metropolitan College Awards for Excellence in Graduate Study. These awards are determined by the faculty of each program. The students selected have demonstrated high academic achievement and a commitment to education in their field. Since joining us in the fall of 2019, Ifan has been integral to the actuarial science program. She's been a teaching assistant, a graduate assistant, and most recently, she's been working as a research assistant in Met's Office of Educational Technology and Innovation. She has done a spectacular job in each role. Her hard work and knowledge have paid off in academic success. Han Bu Yu completed his master's in applied business analytics in January, 2021 as the top student in the class. He was active in discussions, original and creative in his assignments and projects, and consistently achieved outstanding results in exams, helping to set the standards of our program. 
He contributed to the overall quality of the educational process as a graduate teaching assistant for two of our core courses and also as a research assistant with direct involvement in new content development for two of our self-paced analytics laboratories. We wish him the best for a bright future. Congratulations on your achievements, Hapo. This year's Award for Excellence in Graduate Study in Enterprise Risk Management goes to Wanfei Phibi Zhang. Phibi Zhang's impact on Metropolitan College will be remembered for years to come. Phibi was an active contributor during classes where she earned perfect grades. She was a major contributor on research projects that studied COVID-19 effects on work environments. She enthusiastically represented MET at information sessions with prospective students. She combined hard work with a cheerful personality that were contagious. We are proud to call Phoebe Zong an alumnus of Metropolitan College. Fahad Redha Hassan Salman Nasser is an Emirati national born and raised in Dubai. He moved to Boston at the age of 17 to study chemical engineering when he discovered that his true passion is finance. After completing his undergraduate engineering degree, he came to MET to pursue a Master of Science in Financial Management with a concentration in investment analysis. In Fahad's words, at MET, I encountered a challenging environment, like-minded individuals and inspiring faculty. These elements of the program pushed me to strive for the best. With his curiosity and hard work, he laid the foundation of his future career in investment management. He consistently pushed for the best achievement and reached for knowledge by running the extra mile. He has consistently placed at the top of our highly competitive courses and has achieved all of this amid the global COVID-19 pandemic. Fahad, congratulations for winning the Excellence in Graduate Study Award at the Master of Science in Financial Management program at Metropolitan College, Boston University. As a student in our program, Ijari never missed an opportunity to push her boundaries while focusing on, as she puts it, a thrilling future career. She has been fully committed to her academic success at Metropolitan College including serving as a graduate teaching assistant in the course Negotiations and Organization Conflict Resolution. She also uh, put her newly learned skills to work by acquiring hands-on experience as a marketing intern with BU Dining Services. It is with pride that we welcome Ijarin to our alumni community. Congratulations. An active member of our student body, Aliyah excelled academically and contributed to the success of her peers. She volunteered as a coordinator and session chair for our online project management in practice conference last year. She also participated in departmental efforts to enhance student engagement through virtual social events, while encouraging fellow students to join in and have fun as well. Aliyah has shared her BU experience in several project management community events. Particularly notable is how, after earning her PMP credential, she volunteered her time to help other students prepare for the exam. She has a bright future as a project manager. This year's Excellence in Graduate Study Awards in Supply Chain Management goes to Blanche Wang. Blanche stands out as one of the best students to have graduated from Metropolitan College's Supply Chain Management program since its launch. Her quiet leadership came to be respected by her peers and professors alike. During her, her caps, capstone project, she represented our program to outsiders in an impressive manner. We are pleased to welcome Blanche into our alumni community. Congratulations, Blanche. It is my great honor and a tremendous pleasure to announce the award for Masters of Science in Administrative Studies in Innovation and Technology to Claire Wenchen Chow. 
player you have throughout your time with us demonstrated amazing excellence and steadfast confidence as shown through your mastery of multiple dimensions of innovation. In your work throughout your time with us, you have been a true leader, communicator, and innovator combined. I would like to mention specifically one of the projects you worked on in combination with your classmates to come up with an enhancement for mobility restricted riders of public transportation. In this project, you and your teammates all together jointly demonstrated an amazing level of digital, technological, and social innovation. Claire, it has been a real delight to have you in the program and we wish you all the very best. After graduating from the University of Hartford with a BFA in photography, Susan joined Boston University as a media specialist. An avid lifelong learner, she pursued courses at BU within Metropolitan College and the College of Fine Arts before entering our Arts Administration program in 2019. Susan is held in the highest regard within our program, as indicated by a few comments on her work. Susan was one of the most curious students I've had. She was a leader in the classroom, always engaged and willing to give helpful feedback to other students. And Susan was a catalyst for positive interactions and thinking who approached difficult material with intelligence, hard work, and enthusiasm. Eager to learn, hardworking, and disciplined, Go was a top student in courses such as machine learning and information structures with Python. As a teaching assistant for machine learning and also data science with Python, Go provided students with detailed feedback and great technical points. A sports medicine physician by training, in spring 2020, Go began collaborating on a project that focused on explaining machine learning decisions by physicians. While earning his master's degree with a health informatics concentration, Ji Dong joined the De Metropolitan College Health Informatics Research Lab, where he performed a systematic review of telemedicine in the time of COVID-19. He summarized the latest developments and applications related to telemedicine and discussed the obstacles and challenges to its wide adoption with a focus on the impact of COVID-19. He presented his findings at the IEEE International Conference on Bioinformatics and Biomedicine in 2020. Chavo completed his bachelor's in mathematics at Boston University before entering our master's program in computer science. During fall 2020, Trevor was a teaching assistant for the course Data Science with Python. In this role, he conducted office hours, held tutorials, and graded proactively for the large class of 41 students. Trevor continues as an online facilitator this spring, and we look forward to his continued connection with BU. Nikki entered the Software Development Master's Program in 2019 and had a stellar record starting with her career, changing prerequisite course and continuing through her course in the fall of 2020. Along the way, she uh, revived the JGRAM implementation, a new concept in flexibly specifying evaluation criteria for documents. Always eager to assist other students, Nikki was a principal speaker at the Tech you know, talk offered by the Department of Computer Science. As a research assistant, Rachel participated in the crucial task of helping criminal justice faculty with the Federal Bureau of Justice Assistance Project. This included collecting data, conducting interviews, and developing a cybercrime investigation seminar for law enforcement officers. Additionally, she helped to coordinate cybercrime trainings, conferences, and research for global community services. 
Rachel's dedication to the field will continue as she pursues her career goals as a practitioner and scholar at the doctoral level. Julia earned her bachelor's degree in geography from the State University of New York College at Ginesco in 2019. After developing a passion for planning as an exchange student in Groningen, Netherlands, she came to Boston University, where she focuses on climate resiliency, green space design, and community engagement within the context of urban planning. Julia is particularly interested in understanding the potential of permaculture and green space as tools to address issues of sustainability, equity, and community building in our urban environments. She has worked as a global practice fellow within our program and served two semesters as a research assistant and teaching assistant. Lauren can now count herself a two-time Boston University graduate, having earned her bachelor's degree in English with honors in 2017 and her Master of Urban Affairs in 2021. Her interests lie in how we can make cities stable, equitable, and supportive for the lives we want to lead. If Lauren is not thinking about housing cooperatives, community land trusts, or abolitionist geographies, you might find her crocheting a granny square. Laura has been the ideal gastronomy student, bringing into the program as much as she has learned and finding many opportunities to enhance her skills. She came to us as a professional archivist and has helped tremendously in thinking about our collections of cookbooks and menus. Her background in archival research and management provides a stepping off point for her particular interest in cookbooks as social and cultural texts. Laura's work is also noteworthy in that she has developed and ultimately will share a multidisciplinary research method that can be applied to the study of all culinary texts, regardless of time period. Stephanie came to us with an undergraduate degree in health promotion from Western Connecticut State University. Her passion for helping others understand more about their health and wellness led her to our health communication program where her hard work and grit really stood out. During intense online graduate studies and as the pandemic unfolded, Stephanie landed a new role as a communication director with a fitness streaming service designed for cancer survivors. Upon receiving her diploma, Stephanie shared this. I accomplished something I would never have thought possible in my lifetime, let alone during a global pandemic. Life is too short not to celebrate the big things. We could not agree more. Congratulations, Stephanie. We applaud today's winners of the 2021 Awards of Excellence. Thank you for your hard work and commitment. To all the graduates of Metropolitan College, we are thrilled to welcome you into Boston University alumni community. Congratulations. This is a significant milestone. In the journey ahead, you will encounter problems, big and small, rarely dramatic, most pertaining to everyday work and family life but all will require your power of thinking, of finding the truth and making a choice. And the many choices along the way will become your legacy for a better world. In this, we and the entire Boston University community will remain dedicated to supporting your work and celebrating your achievements. We wish you all success in the road ahead. I invite my colleagues to join me in applause for the class of 2021.